yeah when it when it comes to when it comes to leveling in diablo 4 you do not want to put any of the codexes that you're going to find or l random legendary drops that you get into your weapon slot you do not want to do that as you're leveling you do not you don't want to do it that is a very bad idea it's a very bad idea because you change it often yes dan that's that's the exact reason the 100 percent exact reason so you're gonna have like a two-handed weapon right two-handed weapon which is plus 200 i suck 200 percent increase so like if you have a codex that's like plus 100 percent damage right you have a codex that's 100 percent damage like that's great but you're level you're level 20 and it's like 180 weapon power weapon power right but then at level 25 at level 25 you're going to find a, a new weapon that's 240 weapon power so now this this legendary power that you just put on your weapon is just gone it's white it's chalked you're not going to have it anymore so you you like you like don't need to do that whatsoever like 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 don't don't do that that is just such a bad idea now once you're once you're able to you know get po past 50 level 70 to where like you're really dwindling down on weapons then sure add the power onto your weapon like whichever one's going to be the best but until then when you when you go back and look at like the po possible um spots like the amulet's plus 50 percent like the amulet is plus 50 percent right so if if the amulet is plus 50 percent okay you got the amulet that's plus 50 percent like so amulet amulet is plus 50 percent what you could do is put it in here so now that 100 plus 100 percent damage is actually 150 percent damage right because which is an upgrade this is downgrade we don't want that so that's way better that is way way better now based on the beta i don't know about you guys but in the beta like last month and in server slam to me i think i i think i wore the same exact amulet the entire time i think the only time that i swapped my amulet was when I was fighting a Shava because my other amulet had a higher poison res or like it had poison resistance on it instead of like cold resist or whatever. So an amulet isn't going to be as easily replaced as a two-handed weapon is. Like you're going you're going to constantly you're going to constantly like swap this out whereas your amulet you may not. Like you could just find like a decent amulet and just wear it the entire time and put your really cool power on it so like for example in my druid build i would just put the aspect of the ursine horror on it like put that on there or like the four to five spikes instead of it being two ranks i get three ranks which is even better you know or something like that or in this case like having shockwave i could put shockwave if i find this early on there so if shockwave let's say is a, is maxed out at 130 well now i'm getting what another 80 percent or 75 percent no what is that 65 percent so now this is a 195 percent on my amulet that's a lot of extra damage on a shockwave that would be here for the entire duration of me playing as opposed to it being on my weapon at level 20 and then i put a new weapon on at 25. so I would definitely definitely do that guys if you are struggling with like deciding where you're going to put your affix or like your codexes but during the leveling process the fact that you can get these so early and you're guaranteed to get them is what makes it so powerful and we just found out during the huge news huge news here shout out to uh force gaming here but you're able to run and go get your affix or codexes 
right away. And because the dungeons and like zones scale to your level, like this one is in act five. So I can just finish the prologue, go grab the, the horse and like run to act five and get this codex. And now I'm level 25 with the Urzine horror codex that I need for my druid to be super strong. And then I just drop landslide and put pulverize on. So like it, it's, it's kind of insane guys. So let me know what you guys think about this. Like the video if you guys have enjoyed it. Comment down below what do you guys think about this strategy as far as using your Cordexes and leveling in Diablo 4. And uh, make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. We are almost to 10,000 subs on YouTube. So please help me get there before the launch of Diablo 4. And as always, stay gaming, guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.